it, it, it's not. And when we say patch of water, we're talking about something the size of a uh, of Alaska, of the size of Australia, something really, really big. I mean, you can see what snow is left up here. This is not normal. And in this story, I will show you just how shockingly low the snowpack is from where it should be. That last blob formed starting in 2013. Now it appears to be here and back. The summers of 2014 and 2015 saw back to back record fire seasons. The peak buildup of snowpack by the spring of 2015 turned out pathetically low. It was all blamed on this red and orange spot off our coast, quickly dubbed the blob, a patch of ocean water four to five degrees warmer than normal. The original blob was so unusual and s stood above the usual kind of variations in the, you know, in the climate and uh, ocean temperatures that we thought, wow, this is going to be something that we won't see for quite a while. And here that we're talking about it right now is very much a surprise. See something familiar? A deja vu all over again kind of thing? This picture is now. Another so-called marine heat wave with temperatures four to five degrees Fahrenheit warmer than normal. Blob 2.0, you know, whatever. Nick Bond is the state climatologist. And like the first blob, he's walking us through the potential impacts of this one now. This is the current snowpack map. Central Puget Sound, 5%. The upper Yakima Basin, 7%. In other words, 95% of the snow we should have on the ground isn't there. Can we blame Blob 2.0 for everything that goes wrong? I like to put it in a casino analogy that having this warm water stacks the deck toward us having uh, warmer than normal air temperatures. Now, Nick Bond is sort of not throwing up his hands. He says uh, there is time. There's the rest of December and up to April 1st, which is usually the peak of snowpack season. He says we can sort of make up for it. But if we're having the same discussion a month from now, he says we could be in real trouble. Live at Snoqualmie Pass, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.